L.R., the liberal redneck here, coming to you from a country mourning the loss of life in Florida from Hurricane Ian. At the same time, thinking, did they think a hurricane is something new to Florida? The list of Florida hurricanes encompasses approximately 500 tropical or subtropical cyclones that affected the state of Florida. More storms hit Florida than any other U.S. state. And since 1851, only 18 hurricane seasons passed without a known storm impacting the state. Collectively, cyclones that hit the region have resulted in over 10,000 deaths, most of which occurred prior to the start of Hurricane Hunter flights in 1943. Additionally, the cumulative impact from the storms has totaled over $216 billion in damage, primarily from Hurricane Andrew, Hurricane Irma, and Hurricane Michael in the 1992, 2017, and 2018 seasons, respectively. Ian in 2022 is still being determined at this time. When you choose to live on a strip of land surrounded on three sides by ocean, did you think you were going to be exempt? Is living close to the ocean so appealing, it's worth it to put your life and your loved one's lives at great, great risk? I grieve for the loss of life and property. I personally dealt with a hurricane in Texas. I know how terrible it is. But then I moved away from the threat. Living in the place where you have such a great chance of being hit by a hurricane at some point is like living at the base of an active volcano. Sooner or later, the shit's going to hit the fan. Florida has long been a retirement haven for conservative rich northerners wanting to get away from the cold and bask in the sun. I understand the attraction, but the danger is significant. The cost is outrageous. And even if you survive a hurricane, the loss of property and the cleanup is monumental. Of the Sunshine State's most common natural disasters, a typical homeowner's insurance policy does not cover damage from hurricanes, floods, and wind from severe storms. That requires a separate policy. Those rich conservatives can afford all the extra expense, and they tend to support conservative politicians. The current crop they have elected are typical. All 16 Florida Republican congressmen in the House of Representatives and both your senators voted against a hurricane relief bill proposed after Hurricane Ian hit Florida. And then they begged the federal government for relief. They don't believe in hurricane relief for everyone, just for themselves. Typical Republican attitude. If you're not rich like the majority of Americans and can't afford to move from the inevitable threat, then you need to work your ass off to elect responsible Democratic legislators who will look out for your best interests and not just the entitled rich. Every congressman and your governor who prefer spending your tax dollars on plane flights for immigrants instead of hurricane relief, are all up for re-election on November 8, 2022. Do the right thing and send them to the unemployment line. You have the power. Just use it. You can reach me with comments, questions, or suggestions at theliberalredneck at gmail.com. And you can listen to all the Liberal Redneck podcasts at blogtalkradio.com forward slash the Liberal Redneck. Thanks for watching.